after six months of play and 162 regular season games, can baseball hold any more surprises? Sports Illustrated senior writer Tom Verducci says the Fall Classic has a way of providing unexpected October heroes. It's fall, and that means time for postseason baseball, postseason pressure. Of course, the best teams and the biggest stars, right? Well, sometimes it's not always about the biggest stars. It's become almost a tired cliche in baseball. It happens so often, looking for that unlikely hero. And sometimes the unlikely hero is literally a little guy who comes up big. The 1969 Miracle Mets, they had Al Weiss, an infielder, who was a career 219 hitter. Well, in the World Series, all of a sudden, against the mighty Baltimore Orioles, he wins game two with a hit, and he hits a home run to tie the game in game five, and that was the game the Mets clinched to win the World Championship. And how about this? Probably the biggest example of all. Don Larson, 1956 World Series. He gets the ball for game five, a 30 and 40 lifetime pitcher. He's going up against the Dodgers. They've got four future Hall of Famers in the lineup, and all he does is throw a perfect game. But here's my favorite, Billy Bates. The Reds called him up late in the year in September of 1990. Had only six career hits. Now fast forward to game two of the 1990 World Series, and the Reds are playing the Oakland A's, who just dominated baseball that year. 10th inning, bottom of the 10th, one out. Dennis Eckersley is on the mound for the Oakland A's. Dennis Eckersley, future Hall of Famer. This was perhaps his best year ever. His ERA, was lower than a speed limit, 0.61 that season. He actually had more saves than base runners allowed. The most dominant pitcher in the game. Billy Bates gets up there, the count gets to 0-2. Now nobody hit Dennis Eckersley at 0-2. In fact, hitters were one for 42 that year when Dennis Eckersley had an 0-2 count. And here's Billy Bates with his six career hits in the batter's box. Doesn't hit the ball especially well, but he hit it right and he got an infield hit. So he's on first base, tie game. He gets the second on the single, another base hit, and here comes Billy Bates scoring the winning run of a World Series game against the Oakland A's and Dennis Eckersley. The Reds go on to win the World Championship, and Billy Bates, he never got another hit in the big leagues. In fact, he never played another game in the big leagues, but that was one night in October where Billy Bates really was the big guy. And for Billy Bates and a lot of guys like him, if you have that one night in October, well, that just about can last forever.